holy hoy everyone welcome back to Fantasyland news hit that subscribe give a thumbs up whatever else you're supposed to say on this uh country bear musical jamboree open today at disney's magic kingdom for cast member previews media previews influencer medias previews and i am oh so angry right now Ernest, the dude is fiddling supercalifragilisticexpialidocious so fast smoke billows forth from his instrument this makes this a highlight of the show he was playing so quickly he broke the sound barrier ah see what i did there anyway the phrase best stories equal bait plus narrative breaks down into two components bait and narrative bait refers to the hook that grabs the audience's attention and compels them to engage with the story. It's the initial spark that makes that you uh, want to listen further to this story. The bait here can take many forms. It could be intrigue, conflict, humor, relatable situations. That's the bait. It draws you in, while the narrative is the actual story itself. It's the meat and bones, the sequences of events that unfold after the bait has captured you and captured the audience's attention. A strong narrative obviously has characters, plot, settings, conflict, resolution. So, best stories equal bait plus narrative. Essentially means that captivating stories require both an enticing introduction, the bait, if you will, and a well-crafted narrative to hold the audience's attention. Here's an analogy, just so you can understand that what I'm saying here with the best stories equal bait plus narrative. Imagine bait as a delicious scent of, of wafting bakery smells down Main Street, USA. It pulls you in. It's actually the bread that you buy or the candy or the, the whatever you buy at Main Street Confectionery. It's what you buy that is the story or the narrative. You become hungry. You want to go in the store. That's the story setting forth. So anyway, that's right, folks. I am going to be making bear puns this whole episode. So bear with me. This show is going to be unbearable. Yes, sir. I said it. I'm standing by it. Get ready for a knee slap and toe tap. Get ready to knee slap and toe tap to a little country twang this summer on july 17th if you've been too busy trotting through the wild west and have missed the news the country bears are getting ready to put on a new show that pays homage to the opry style shows in nashville while the country bear musical jamboree will include easter eggs from the beginning to the end including familiar tunes fans may remember the bears will sing new and reinterpreted country music songs, um, uh, Disney songs in country music styles like bluegrass, uh, pop country, Americana, rockabilly, many other styles. Listen, the reviews are coming in, people. Uh, people are letting Disney know their thoughts right now. I'm going to give you my review and my thoughts. Just like normal, though, the influencers out there are going gaga. They're raving how amazing Country Bears is. It's the second coming of Jesus. I don't mean to offend anybody. That's just how this is being portrayed. Yet, people who spend their hard-earned money to buy a vacation and come here are being tricked into it by putting this bait in front of people. They're baiting you to come down because this is something new. Look, yes, there is amazing things to see at Disney World. Yes, you should come down here and visit us. But not for this. Not, definitely not for this alone. The, this is something to do for fun and, and to have the kids see a fun show where they, they know the songs, but in different styles. See, I could say something nice. now. Back to the bear jokes. Let's pause and reflect on how awesome bears are. Okay, we're back. This could be the laziest retheme and upgrade. 
while the animatronics are working well and some of them got some amazing major upgrades this show as a whole is so out of place the songs do not fit let's start the show we start off with our favorites melvin moose buff the bison max the deer informing us video recording and photography is allowed but please no flash photography I, that's a normal thing rufus is then introduced who is ready to start this affair he introduces us to new song a new song written and named after the attraction it is called country bear musical jamboree which is the exact thing you're looking for from the country bears we got the five bear rugs and they are zeke and zeb and ted and fred and a bear named tennessee and they're all playing along to good old country rhythm the country bear musical jamboree song it fits it's great it works thank you disney looking at the new animatronics they look great up there the fur looks fresh the stage looks fresh and then down the bottom side apparently um zeb's son oscar is the little teddy bear off to the side he's playing with a big owl plush it's it's kind of cute country bear musical jamboree new original song written for the attraction uh the applause for this one was well deserved the applause yeah that's right i did it um it, again it reflects the true nature of the song the next song up is we get try everything i'm going to try everything not to trash this song because disney is pushing this one really hard and the girl who sings it seems awfully nice which is what she's supposed to do because she's pandering to all of us that's what nashville new country music does it just panders to not the lowest common denominator because that's not true and i'm not saying that because there i uh, there is some songs that don't do that but the, the the key here is they pander to their audience and give their audience exactly what they want instead of coming up with something new so we get try everything in a new country song almost like uh, uh um i was going to say carrie fisher i don't know why i went with carrie fisher uh i was going to say some new country girl singing out there carrie underwood that's who i was going to say carrie underwood it's got that style to it carrie's great singer was going to be a superstar and is a superstar but this is the worst version of the song it is so pandering guy did it again even though the three female bears bubbles beulah and bunny all got animatronic updates and they do look amazing disney imagineering is suffering from frozen tiana syndrome which is the arms flail about as if they are just doing weird things like that it's like they are michael flatley the lord of the dance whose feet move independently from his body moving on we go to kiss the girl by romeo mcgrow aka liver lips no longer called liver lips totally understandable absolutely agree so romeo mcgrow comes out and is dressed in his finest elvis carl perkins look um and kiss the girl takes us to a time and place that we absolutely did not need to go I didn't need to go back to the showstoppers of the 50s and the grand old Opie from the 50s. If I want to hear Kiss the Girls, I can just walk my butt all the way over to the Little Mermaid ride and hear the song in its original form. I did not need this. People did not need this. Look, the audience by this point <laughs> was in complete pandemonium. I don't know why. Next up, we had... Ernest doing his supercalifragilisticexpialidocious from Disney's Mary Poppin. Uh, fiddling by Ernest. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to add uh, um, another bear joke here. What do you call teddy bear police officers? The fuzz. And we should be calling the fuzz on these bears right now and have them arrested for how bad that song is moving on wendell comes out and wendell is my favorite bear i i walk over to frontierland and i have to see wendell and i i give him a big bear hug because he's the greatest bear of all time other than kevin the bear who broke into magic kingdom that's a whole different thing 
does a duet with Teddy Barra, who comes down from the ceiling. They do a whole new world. A bear once said, only you can prevent forest fires. And I wish we would have had one at this moment. Wish it wasn't prevented is what I mean. And speaking of bears, whatever happened to the black bear who broke into Frontierland? You know, the one that went across the train tracks, hung out on Tom Sawyer Island, was trank darted. Man, I miss that guy. He was news. He was worth some clicks. Then we move over to Fixer Upper, which is from Frozen. And that's something. Uh, I got nothing to add on this one. I, it, uh, it happened. It's going to happen multiple times a day. Then we move on to Remember Me from Disney's Coco. And it's sung by Big Al. It could honestly be the polar opposite of good. What did they do to this poor bear? Blood on the Saddle was a classic. It didn't offend anybody. Him bellowing out in a remorseful tone, remember me, is not anywhere close to being good or funny or belongs in Frontierland. Then we go into You Got a Friend in Me. Again, this one actually kind of is a little toe tapper. I, not everything about the show is horrible. Just some things just don't belong. You got a friend in me? Yeah, fine. Look, I, they're bears. You got friends and bears. Bears are friends. I love bears. Bears. There we go. Um, moving on, we get to the bear necessities from the Jungle Book. Now, finally, this is the second one that really works. A song that belongs in the show. It is done well and deserves to be part of a country bear musical jamboree. The whole band comes back in. Everyone shows up. Teddy Bear comes down. She's swinging. All the other bears are around. The five bears are playing. And Zeke and Deke and Joe and Robbie and uh, Christoph and Larry, whoever else makes up the band up there, they're all singing along. It's toe tapping. It's fun. This is what country bears is all about. And then finally, we end with Come Again which is the original song from uh, Country Bear Jamboree back in 1974. But listen, by this time, the show is done, and we all really felt a little grisly. Yeah, the bear puns don't end, and I'm not going to finish them, nor am I apologizing for these horrible bear puns. We had to walk outside and get our bearings. Yeah, that's two in two sentences. I don't see how Disney can claw their way out of this mess that the Country Bear Musical Jamboree is. It is atrocious. While the original Country Bears that has been out, not the original, but the one that we've had in Magic Kingdom for a while was very cringe, and I'm not advocating for it to come back. It, it, it has no place in this time in world. That's fine. But this is just lazy. Straight up lazy. The retheme took only like six months or something like that. And it comes back and yes, the animatronics look pretty and they're great and they look great. The lighting is so much better. The audio is so much better. But what happened to Disney original ideas? This isn't original. If I wanted to see half these songs, I can go on other rides in one of the other four parks and hear almost every single one of these songs. So. In the beginning, I mentioned the best stories equal bait plus narrative. There is nothing in this show to bait you in, and there is absolutely no narrative. That is the major downfall right now of Disney World, is they will bait you in, but give you no narrative or no story, and definitely no ending. Country Bear Musical Jamboree has no story. There's no bait to keep you in. There's nothing that keeps you wanting to hear the next song and the next song. And I can't wait to see what they're coming come up next. This is a, a hodgepodge of 30 second clips of songs that are out there. I could go see that exact same thing over at Mickey's Philhar Magic. That's what this is. Did they make this for kids? Yes. Wonderful for kids. It's amazing for kids. Kids are going to love it. That's what Disney World's for. But if you are a Disney Imagineer fan, if you're a fan of the Disney history, this is not going to be for you. And I'm sorry that I have to be one of those guys who sits there and curmudgingly complains about it because I always say positive stuff about Disney. But on this one, I just can't. So there's our review of Country Musical Bear Jamboree of Doom, whatever you want to call it. And it's very bad.
that was just the final bear pun. Uh, thanks for watching. Sorry if you didn't like this. I, I can't always be the, the hey, we got to do everything. Look at the new cupcake. On that note, thanks for watching Fantasyland News. We'll see you next time. Thank you all so much for watching and listening, especially if you made it this far. Congratulations. You made it to the end. Thank you from all of us here at FantasylandNews.com. We appreciate it. Uh, you can find us at FantasylandNews.com or TheFanaticsBlog.com for all your latest in Disney Parks news and Walt Disney Company entertainment news. Uh, please like, subscribe, share this out, all the normal things you have to say. Uh, and again, go to Fantasyland News on Instagram. Please go to our Facebook page. I know we're old people. Facebook page, hit subscribe. Uh, again, that's Fantasyland News on Facebook and Instagram. And we hope you have a magical day.